And they've done this to me in the past. BTS, you... Ooh! <laughs> What's going on all you lovely people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike O'Hora and this is a lovely penguin. Welcome to the waddle my friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are y'all doing today? Hopefully you guys have been having a good week and uh, yeah, I hope you had a good weekend as well. Uh, but yeah, we're back with some more BTS for you guys here today. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, I am. I don't know if maybe it's because I was sick or whatever. Or maybe I'm just like I have too many things happening at once. I got this brain fog on me. I have no idea where we are at with music videos and stuff. We're gonna go off the beaten track here just a little bit. We're gonna watch Micro Cosmos. Uh, we got to see it a little bit in one of the MMA performances that we watched, but uh, I haven't actually heard like the you know studio version of it. So what I thought we'd do is we're gonna check out a, a lyric video for it, and then there was a I believe it's a fan made music video for the song, uh, and it's got a lot of views on it. So I figured why not let's watch that, uh, and then we're gonna watch a live performance of it as well because why not. Um, but before we get into it, guys, I will say this. I am, uh, I am shocked with Ticketmaster. Um, I don't know how much BTS actually ha is involved in the process of buying tickets and whatnot. I know it's crazy. It's like a lottery, you know, it's, it's every man or woman or whoever for themselves. And, uh, yeah, me and a friend, we were trying to get some tickets and they're over $600, to go see our guy Suga in concert. Like, how on earth is that even possible? How is that even a thing? Over $600 for like the worst seats in the place. Those aren't even the good spots. If you want a good spot, it's over $1,000 for one ticket to go. Yeah, right. I don't know if BTS has anything to do with it. I know. Ticketmaster is a, a greedy little grubby company uh, who have an absolute monopoly on tickets, and uh, it's it's insanity. It's absolute insanity that they can charge that much money for it. Uh, I know Taylor Swift has been fighting for our rights as fans to be able to see a show and not have to pay a fortune, but like, damn, dude. I'll say this, BTS needs to, to say something about that because that's absolutely outlandish, like ridiculous. And I know it's not their fault, but they are people who can do something about it. Um, so no hate to them, but still, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. If that's the way concerts are going to be, I'm never going to be able to go to a concert again. Not even am I not going to be able to go to a concert ever again. I'm never going to go to a concert again. To pay that much money? That's more than rent. And I live in Los Angeles, man. <laughs> like, what? What? You want me to pay about a month's rent to go see one show? Get out. Yeah, right, dude. What? That's nuts. That's absolutely nuts. So maybe my brain is fogged up because of that information being processed in and not understanding how that could even possibly be a thing. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Either way, I just remember when we watched the MMA show, I think it actually was the 2019 one, if I'm remembering correctly, because that was like the big crazy one. Uh, this song was awesome. This song was really cool. And I don't really remember what it sounds like in fairness, because that was like... I don't know, seven or eight months ago that we probably reacted to that. Uh, and we've heard so, so many things. So I figured let's go through, let's watch it, let's check it out, and uh, it should be a good time. So guys, remember to sub to the channel because we want to keep on growing. And the only way we can do it is with your help. It costs you nothing. It's free, and it only helps me out. So please go ahead and do that. Plus, we're still shy of 10K, and I'm trying. I'm learning. I am working on that dance. I am I am learning some dance moves right now. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys sub. Uh, yeah, let's go. All right, here we go. Do I have subtitles on this? Oh, 
소중한 만화 어두운 밤 외로운 몸 별처럼 다 오랜된 나 사라지지 뭐큰 존재니까 Let it shine Yo, I don't know, like, <laughs> this song kind of makes me feel like I'm watching a movie. I mean, obviously, I'm just reading uh, the lyrics and stuff. But, like, I've, you know, it's talking about uh, having the opportunity to shine, to, to show who you are, um, you know. And it's it's obviously talking about in, in terms of stars in the sky, uh, in the dark night sky, you know, being a light and whatnot, which is awesome. Great analogies. Uh, but... Just the way the song sounds, it just feels like it's like something dramatic is going to happen in a film or something like that, you know? Uh, I don't know. It's going to be kind of hyped up a little bit, even though it's kind of like kind of slow and melodic, but it has like a, a build to it, which is, is nice. And it, it, I could feel it in my heart, you know? So this is cool. Let it shine. Oh, that's a cute line. Dang. Oh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> Yo, it's got such an epic vibe. I love it. Oh. I'm not even going to lie, guys. It's giving me a little bit of goosebumps. <laughs> it, like... I don't... I wish I knew how to explain better... The feeling that I, I I I get from the sound, or like the sound, or how it how it sounds, it's it's not quite like poppy, but it's not like God. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it. I'm so lost for words right now. It's just it's just good. It's it's very uplifting. It's very positive. Very happy. Plus the words behind the song as well are also very uplifting and very exciting. And it's it's looking at ourselves in a positive light. It's them looking at themselves in a positive light. It's just an overall positive song, you know. Because a lot of times K-pop uh, uh, has songs where they're they're really upbeat and fun and fast and whatever. But like they're really like you look at the lyrics, they're kind of depressing. <laughs> so having the actual positive on positive is is a really nice feeling to be honest. Um, so I mean, obviously BTS they they mix it up quite a bit. They're not not uh, exactly the same, but they uh yeah they do have songs as well that are are sometimes positive, uh but they sound well I guess it's more usually they sound more positive, but then like they are a little bit more darker or or depressing or whatever. But uh, I don't know. I just love the positive on positive for this one. Just give me all sorts of good feelings. <laughs> I love this song. This song's sick. <laughs> so 
I can I can fully understand why this song is probably a very very big hit uh, amongst the army. In fact, if I remember correctly, and this is me really stretching back here, because like I said, I haven't reacted to to this in general in a long time. But uh, when I did the MMAs 2019, uh, which I believe is where they performed this one, hopefully I'm right about that. If I remember correctly, there was a lot of comments talking about this song in particular and how people love it so much. And like, bro, it makes perfect sense. To be honest with you, I was so flabbergasted at that whole entire performance. I feel like this song in particular kind of went over my head. Um, but yeah, this song is awesome, dude. This song is so awesome. It's super uplifting, super positive. And yeah, it just, it makes you feel like you're the star of your movie, you know, while you're listening to this song. And I think that's such a special feeling. Um, and it takes a special group of people to be able to make you feel like that, especially through song. Uh, but yeah, so this is the music video that I found. I believe this is a fan made one. Uh, it's got over 15 million views. So I was like, you know what? Why not? Let's throw it in there. Uh, it'll be fun to see the guys performing live here and there, but obviously it'll be the studio recording of it over over it because that's what music videos are. But um, yeah, I think that's pretty dope. Also, it's funny in this freeze frame right here, you might notice all the guys, they're all seated up front, right? Except V. <laughs> for, for whatever reason, he's seated back in the crowd. Like uh, It looks like he's actually technically three people back, you know, one, two, three. Uh, which is funny and kind of weird, but <laughs> I feel like that's very much a V type of thing to do anyway. Um, if it was me and I was part of the band, I'd be like up in the back somewhere, just like just peeking out, just like popping my head out or whatever. Uh, just being a silly goose, you know, but uh, all right. Well, enough of me blathering. Let's go. Nice. That's the whole crew. Crazy how many people. Ah. There's a part of me that would really be curious to see what it would be like to like perform in a concert. The nerves. Especially because it scares the crap out of me. Oh, that's amazing. Look at that. Oh, man. Dude, that looks so sick. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's interesting. Who is that? Was he on a bed? Hold on, sorry. What is that? 
Oh, okay. So it's supposed to be it's supposed to be like a bed, but I think it's supposed to be like it's supposed to look like a bed that's flying, if you would. You know, obviously they got it hooked up to ropes and stuff, but I think that's actually hardened to look like that. Um, so even though he's not moving at a fast speed, it kind of looks like it. Um, that's kind of funny. Sorry, that's a, a weird set piece that I was like, what? What is that? <laughs> Oh, that's such a cool thing. JK on the freaking harness thing. That's awesome. That's so freaking good. <laughs> Damn, I'm not gonna lie. That almost started making me cry a little bit. That that watching the video of uh, them performing it live, it just like they, they they make me think of my friends. You know, like my my homies I grew up with, like. And they've done this to me in the past. BTS, you... Ooh! <laughs> oh, man, dude. It just makes me miss my friends, you know? Which is sad, because, like, I got... I have awesome friends out here in L.A., too, but, like... None, none of them know me quite as well as those those guys I grew up with, you know? Um, woo! Don't cry. Not crying right now. Nope. 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 <clears throat> oh, man. But yeah, dude. It, that just like brought back all sorts of sentimental feelings. Um, and like, I, I don't know. It, it definitely, it makes me curious what it would be like to perform uh, like they do, you know? But like... <laughs> the worst part is is like i know like i'm not like the greatest singer of all time but i know that i have a pretty good voice surprisingly you know um uh, but like i don't get nervous for like anything you know rarely do i ever get nervous like genuinely nervous or even afraid to do stuff but like singing in front of people scares the crap out of me for whatever reason. It makes me so nervous. It makes me anxious. And it's like one of the two things that I can actively think of that make me feel that way, you know, but there's a part of me because like a lot of my friends do music and there's a part of me that's like, man, it would be really cool to like write a song with them and and I don't know, try to make something out of that, you know, but it's like funny because I wouldn't be able to do it because I'd be too afraid. <laughs> hey. <laughs> you know um and i'm trying to i'm trying to like be a more open about it and stuff like i even did karaoke this year which i've never done so i'm trying to push the limits and and and, and try to be a more open about it and, and and conquer that fear too um baby steps <laughs> baby steps i almost had a panic attack at karaoke trying to do it but exposure therapy is what it's called um, but yeah, no, it really, it really does make me think of my friends and, uh, uh, yeah, it got me super sentimental there, but now 
uh, I figured let's watch them perform it live. Uh, not really sure about a lot of the other concerts that they had available online here because a lot of times those get blocked. Usually Jimmy Fallon doesn't get blocked for me, but it has in the past for certain performances. So if it does get blocked, please head over to my Patreon. It'll be linked just down below. Uh, it'll be tagged under BTS. It'll be tagged under live. Live has all the music videos uh, that I've reacted to where I've done live performances as well that get blocked on YouTube and I can't show them there. So I put them all up on my Patreon absolutely for free. Obviously, I do have a paid section which has paid uh, material that you can only watch if you pay for it. But these live performances are always going to be free for you guys. So if you, if for whatever reason, if you're watching this and the video is blurred out right now, you'll know it got blocked. And if you want to see the video that I'm actually reacting to, just go over there and uh, check it out. All right, let's go, Jimmy. It's BTS Week tonight, show, and every BTS day we're week. bringing you incredible new performances from the group. Here now to perform the hit song "Microcosmos" from their 2019 <laughs> Micro album. Microcosmos. Persona. Microcosmos. BTS. <laughs> <laughs> just with K's. It's the only difference. Oh snap! Look at that. Okay, sorry. Before before we even get started here, that's a location, right? I like. Don't get me wrong. Don't don't get me twisted. I know BTS. If they wanted to, they could build something like that on their own. But that is a huge build. If they actually built that, that's that's got to be a location. Please tell me that's a location. <laughs> I would be stressed if I had to build that. Oh my gosh. Um, but yeah, their team is so crazy good at what they do that it would be it'd be not a surprise at all if they did, but that's gotta be a location. Come on. Come on. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. <sighs> great, great song. Micro -co oh my gosh, Micro Cosmos by BTS. Dang, dude. That is really, really good. <sighs> Man, I don't know. I like Maybe it's just because I'm not feeling well or whatever. That just, that made my heart happy. That made me feel really good. I'm, I'm glad we did that one. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me know what you guys thought. Hopefully you guys uh, had similar feelings about this. Let me know if you hated this song so I can block you. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. No one gets blocked unless they're spamming all those, those those inappropriate links and all that crap in my, my, uh, my comment section. Also, guys, just a heads up. Um, I've noticed there's been a few of these like accounts that are saying that like they're pretending to be me on there, which is weird. Cause like, I don't, I never thought I'd be a person that would get impersonated, but like, they're saying like, click this link to get like yada, yada, yada. No, that ain't me. That's not me. I will never do that to you guys. Uh, especially in the comment section. I will never do that. If I have anything like that, it'll be in the description of the video. So, you know, it is actually from me or I'll say it in the video, <laughs> you know, or sometimes I'll be like, Hey guys, I'm going to put a comment. I'm going to pin it to the top. And then, you know, that's me, you know, but, uh, if you see those, please either report them or just, uh, ignore them or whatever. I will get to them. I will delete those comments to the best of my ability. I am trying my best to block them all from my account so that they can't comment on my videos, but you know, they slide through here and there. So yeah, guys, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you all. Stay aggressively positive. Have a fantastic week and we'll be back on Wednesday. All right. Love you. Bye.